We're starting the show. I really wanted to not start with a soft um, kind of, you know, sometimes people think of starting like with a little intro into a big hit and we really wanted to come out and start the show and say, behold the cadets and here's the brass. Here Absolutely. we go. Absolutely. The, uh, the uh, opening is based on a fanfare written by a composer named Libby Larson and her fanfare is called Fanfare for the Women and it was written to be an unaccompanied solo trumpet fanfare. Uh, and mm -hmm. we were really, really excited about the idea of just starting. Yeah. Fanfare, technique, behold, go. And uh, and also inspired by Harold Trumpets, who announced this. Absolutely, all, all of all of the pomp of mm -hmm. what what you'd see in a situ in a scene like that. Uh, so we have fanfare for the women. We are, I particularly was drawn to the opening mm -hmm. motive of the of this piece, uh, and then we kind of use those first one or two measures of her piece to sort of craft an original derivation uh, uh, to to kind of make it our own and go from there. So Fanfare for the Women is um, hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. Here come the brass, here we come. And uh, and then once the drum line go, comes in, tempo cuts up, we start we start doing that cadet thing and uh, we're on our way. Right, and it's, and to me in the storyline, it's, it's Fanfare for the Queen Symbolically, it's it's fanfare for the cadets, right? And fanfare for the women of the cadets. And so we're using the story of power uh, versus equality, power of equality in the end. Um, and we're telling the story through uh, female gender equality. But really, I was telling the kids last night, it, it, I want the kids to really feel like they could be the character, right? Anyone who's ever had people tell you you can't do something. You go out and you, you know, you show them that you can't even when they try to tear you down and put you down and give you reasons why you shouldn't be able to or you can't. And one thing we have spoken about through this whole process was the idea that members of the court should be able to identify Absolutely. with with that. It's almost like anyone who's ever felt like they are the other for yes. any reason, if you have ever could identify as being the outlier or the other, and I think everyone has, in one right. way or another, then that's like a fire that burns within you that kind of, we're trying to sort of fan those flames. 